Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the new Elementor prices and trying to explain some of the differences that are happening here. So you may have heard that Elementor is changing their pricing, and going forward, they're going to have these new prices. So right now are the current ones on the screen. So if we scroll down here, you can see right now we have the free plan, which is $0. Personal, $49 for one site, $99 for three sites, and then we have the expert at $199 for a thousand sites. Now these are the ones that we have currently at this time, and they include all of these different features in here. Right now I have the expert plan, and I'm gonna go into the new pricing and kind of the structure behind it going forward. So the key thing that you're gonna look at right here is the number of sites and obviously the price as well. So there's going to be a post, I'm gonna to link to it in the description, and it's a new article that they put out on their site. And if we go over to it, you can see that here are the new prices in place, and it's essential plan for $49 a year. If we go back over here, that was called the personal before, the plus was 99, now that's called advanced for 99 for three websites. So those are actually the same right here. Then we have expert, and it only has 25 websites. Instead of the expert plan over here with 1,000 websites, you get 25 on the new expert plan. The only difference here is that now you are gonna be able to have 100 plus website kits, and I assume that's gonna be like starter templates or something like that, kind of like themes or templates that you can build off of and hopefully speed up the design process. And you're also going to have this experts network profile, and it's basically like a business profile. I think they're gonna to need to expand on that a little bit more going forward, but I read within this article, it says it's like a business profile. So with the studio plan here, you get $4.99 for 100 websites. Now that's good for a small studio, but a lot of people might wanna have more than that. And this does come with VIP support, and that's probably the biggest change with these two plans, the studio and the agency. They're offering VIP live chat support, and you can get help a lot quicker with this. And now this has been a problem that's been going on for a while now when it comes to Elementor, and they've had lots of issues with the support. I've actually found it's easier to get support through Facebook groups related to Elementor than it has been through the actual support with Elementor. So I think this is a great move for agencies and studios that really need that support quickly and might have deadlines for clients and things like that. This can really come in handy for them and really be beneficial for them in terms of support. And I should mention they actually sent out an email as well. I'll put that up here on the screen. And it does say within this email that they're going to be doubling their support team again, just as they did in 2020. So they are going to be doubling their support team, which is a really good thing going forward because that is probably the weakest spot for Elementor, in my opinion, when you look at them compared to alternative page builders. And that's really because they have so many people using Elementor, and this is a great way to improve their support overall. I do think it's a good thing for agencies and studios, but I do wonder if it's also going to improve this year with the expert advance and essential plans as well for people that have paid and gotten premium support or should be getting premium support. Now I should say it says up to one day response time, so hopefully it does get to that level and it's much quicker. I think one day support time is fine for these type of plans, but to get even faster support or VIP support with these plans like the studio and agency really can go a long way. Now something that I wanna make really clear is the email also states that if you already have a paid plan, if you're already on one of these paid plans, like the ones in here, you can go and see it says right here, these changes will only apply to new purchases. If you're on an existing active subscription, nothing changes for you. So you're going to be grandfathered in if you already have one of these plans. So just be aware of that. That's probably the biggest takeaway for all the Elementor users right now. But with that being said, if you wanted to get into a plan and be grandfathered in, you have up until March 9th to do that. So you have one month from today. Today's February 9th when I'm recording this. You have one month from the day to get on to one of these plans, one of these three over here, and be grandfathered into that plan. Additionally, you're going to be able to upgrade for 50% off. I believe it says it down here in this article. It says right here, users on the current expert plan at $199 a year for 1,000 sites who would like access to an agency plan and VIP support will get a limited time 50% discount when upgrading to the agency plan. 
and it says it's valid from March 9th, 2021 until June 9th, 2021. So they're giving you a little time to decide if you want to do this. And if you think about it, if you have deadlines and you need quick support, this could be worth it. And really, if you really think about it, you'd literally be paying $1 per website at this rate per year. So I'm just going to assume every agency in the world is charging more than $1 per website these days. And that's all you would need to get to break even. So if you're charging several hundred dollars or several thousand dollars for a website like this, it really kind of is a no-brainer to upgrade to this and get the better support if you are in an agency or something like that. Personally, I have the expert plan and I don't make a whole lot of client websites these days. I really just make my own websites. I used to make a ton of client websites, but I'm probably just going to stick with the expert plan and be grandfathered in and take advantage of that rather than having to pay more to have access to more websites. Now, if you're on the fence about this, I would probably just try to get locked into the expert plan just in case you change your mind in the future. It's not that much to upgrade to the expert plan right now rather than it would be if you're going to upgrade to have access to a thousand sites for $999 per year in the future. So it's a big difference. I think I would try to get on the expert plan if you're on the fence about it right now. And let's say you have the advanced essential or you're using a free plan and you're thinking about upgrading. It might be best to just go right up to the expert plan. But at the end of the day, it's your decision and you've got to figure out what will work best for you. So that really wraps up the basics of the new Elementor pricing here. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video about the updated pricing that's coming soon here. And hopefully we're able to find out more about how it will work. Again, I'm going to link to this in the description below. It is going to be an affiliate link. If you use it, I greatly appreciate it. But it will also be able to give you more information if you're deciding what to do for yourself. Now, with this all being said, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments below about this change. What do you think? Do you think it's a good move for Elementor? Do you think it makes sense? Are you excited about better support? Are you going to upgrade to agency or studio? I'd love to hear your comments below and your thoughts on this change. And with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.